towing someone on a paddleboard can be necessary in various situations where the individual being towed may require assistance or are unable to paddle on their own, such as an injury or fatigue, inexperienced paddlers or children, especially in strong currents or winds, equipment malfunction, or in emergency situations. Before performing a tow, assess the situation and ensure there are no immediate dangers around you. Never put yourself in danger. Paddle over to talk to the other person and explain what you will be doing and how the tow will be performed. In the case they are still in the water and can't get back on their paddleboard, perform a flip rescue. See full video on how to execute a flip rescue. For towing a paddleboard, the best type of tow formation is an inline tow. The paddleboard is pulled from the nose or front of the board in line directly behind the other board. In the best case scenario, use a throw rope or tow belt with a carabiner and a quick release system, allowing you to quickly abandon the tow in an emergency. When paddleboarding, Leashes are typically more readily available than a throw or tow rope system and are a good length to keep control but avoid collision. If using a leash to perform the tow, whenever possible, use the leash of the person you're towing versus your own. This will give you more control and keep your board with you at all times. The top two places to attach the tow line, rope or leash to the person you are towing is at the bow of the board with either a front handle or D-ring and the paddle handle of the person you're towing. If you are not using a towing system and are using a leash, you will need to remove the leash from the board and the person you're towing and attach it to the back of your board beside your leash or to a quick release belt. Using a front handle on the board or D-ring, secure the tow rope with a carabiner or not or attach the ankle calf part of the leash. If there isn't a front handle on the board you're towing, use their paddle. Wrap the leash or rope around the shaft of the T-grip part of the paddle. Have the person in a prone position laying flat on their board with their chest on the paddle blade to secure the paddle and keep the person stable to limit the risk of falling off. Whichever way you choose to attach and tow, always be sure to attach to their board or paddle securely. Ideally, you'll have the leash, tow, or throw rope attached to a quick release system in the case of an emergency and you need to get out of an unsafe situation. If a quick release system is not available, Ensure the leash or rope is secured to your board without permanently attaching or adding a tight knot. Try a highwayman's hitch in order to tow, but also quickly release. Stay alert and be cautious. Communicate and check on the person you're towing. For better stability, stick to paddling on your knees when towing. Towing can be extremely tiring, particularly when dealing with currents or strong winds. The decision to tow another paddleboard over a long distance should be carefully considered. Be aware of strong currents or surf that can risk entanglement with the line. Prepare and practice for real world towing situations. Test out your towing skills on flat and rougher water to help determine the upper limits of your ability that will help you understand when it's best to call for help versus attempting a tow. Remember, not all tows are emergency rescue situations. You might have a friend or person who is tired or sick and needs a short break or needs help getting through stronger winds. As always, stay safe and happy adventuring.